miserable, sexy man. My name's Beethoven. This is my story. My childhood is not mm, too loud. I'm deaf. I can't really judge. <clears throat> My childhood is not what you would call normal. I was born in December 1770-ish. Somewhere around there. It doesn't matter. At 12, I was writing my own compositions. And at 16, I played for Mozart. That's right. Mozart. Ah, oh, those were some good days. You know what he said? He said, Keep your eye on him. Someday he will give the world something to talk about. My mother and father used to lock me in the basement if I wasn't practicing the piano. Sometimes they would strike me with household utensils. We didn't have those blenders and microwaves you people have, uh, the fancy little objects. But if we did, you would better believe I would be microwaved and blended. I don't usually talk about this with many people, and since this is just between you and I, and no one else will know about this conversation. My mother died at a very young age, and it really hurt me. And the only thing more devastating than that was when I began to lose my hearing at the age of 29. It was devastating, it was very devastating, and the doctors could do nothing to stop it. My only form of release was in the music that I wrote and in the numerous letters I wrote to my brother. In the future, there will be machines you can drive called automobiles instead of carriages. And there will be magic boxes where you can kill monsters without leaving your own home. Oh no, I want sympathy. I don't want them locking me up. I would have ended my life. It was only my art that held me back. Dark and helpless. Perfect. I'm such a drunk. My love life was anything but lovely. I was far too into my music for that. Uh, although there was Giulietta Cucciardi and her two magnificent sisters. Oh, and Teresa Malfatti. Perhaps my best pupil. Magnificent fingers. Whoa, what do, what do you mean my, my uh, sister-in-law, Johanna? Of course we never had an affair and gave birth to a boy named Carl. Next question. I wasn't a homosexual, you little piece of Yes, I was always the restless type. I never liked to stay tied down in one place. Uh, especially in the summer. Vienna in the summer. People throwing their waste in the streets. Oh. No, I like to move around. <laughs> I mean, I'm a musician, not a workless bum. <laughs> I got the green, baby. <laughs> It's good to see that my music is still appreciated today. However, it may not be in the way I would have hoped. But still, it's nice to be remembered. Nice box!